All right, let's do this. The Santa Blanca Cocaine Superhighway. Every year, more than 350 tons of coke leaves Bolivia, reaching about 20 million users worldwide. That means they're pulling in an average of $2 billion a week. How do they do it? Three little words. Air, land, sea. All coordinated by the head of smuggling, Nidia Flores. La Reina de the Beauty Queen. The Beauty Queen. And her right-hand man, the ravishing, the bewitching, the delectable, El Boquita. Ouch. Hey, Somebody get that guy a the problem is, you see these guys in the news, you see decapitations, you see monsters, but you don't see the whole picture. These people the are picture. fucking geniuses. Case in point, you see tits, Nydia Flores sees opportunity. You see scrap metal, Nydia Flores sees submarines. You see holy water, Nydia Flores sees liquid cocaine. Because Nydia Flores Nydia is a Flores fucking genius. Sees it all. You really want to shut down the cocaine superhighway? Hit the drugs, hit the money, then hit the beauty queen. So we'll I'll watch the rest. Of these. Here's a lesson in cocaineonomics. The biggest mistake most people make is focusing solely on the product. Claro, you need something to sell, but that's not where you make the money. One kilo of coca leaves costs about a dollar fifty. It takes 400 kilos of coca leaves to make one kilo of cocaine. Even when turned into cocaine base, a kilo is only worth 1,200 in Bolivia. However, every time you cross a border, the value increases. Once we reach Colombia, it's already 2,200. We hit southern Mexico, 12,000. Cross the border into Texas, mm. 20,000. New York City, our $1,200 investment is now worth 35,000. Paris, London, 68 to 74,000. It's a pipeline happen. that carries the product to the people that need it. Sustenance for the thirsty. Once in place, the pipeline feeds itself. Workers, vehicles, wages, bribes. But when there's a clog in the pipe... Uh, they took out another shipment. We lost seven tons last week. Four planes the week before. The water backs up. There's too much surplus. We can't keep it secure. My men are selling to each other. We can't pay people if they're not moving product. They're kidnapping civilians for ransom money. Too much water. We have to take Valeria and go. He'll kill us before we leave the country. Then what's the answer? When I find it, I'll let you know. And you drown. Hmm. Nidia finally had the answer to her problems. A convoy. The investors in Mexico wanted their money. This whole time, she had been trying to sneak it out to them. Why sneak when we can force it through? Reinforced armor, heavily armed, multiple trucks, helicopter patrols, carrying 17 billion dollars. Mira, you can't be serious. If we lose that money, it's over. But when we're killed, what happens to Valeria? There is no other way. No, Reina, we're not doing it. Ay, boquita, corazón. I'm not asking. I'm telling. And who do you expect to lead this convoy? You're the only man I trust with something this important. But what if I don't make it back? I would never let that happen. No more excuses. Yeah. We want our fucking money ahora. Nidia will take care of this. Sueño, do we need to make a change here? Nidia has been one of our best people for years. Maybe too many. I'm Maybe get she's rid of lost her edge. Over time, I had seen many buchones come and go. When you're king, you learn to lose a few nights. But Nidia Flores was different. I had taken her under my wing from a young age. She was the closest thing I would ever have to a daughter. She was my reina. If I fed her to the wolves, a part of me would die with her. You'll get your money, se lo juro. I guarantee it. Don't make us regret this. Sostén tu palabra. They own it. They own it. Her Santísima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca Cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter. That whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
Many years ago, we were in trouble, in la desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us. Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner the of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. Nidia Flores was in trouble, and she knew it. It wasn't just the drugs that were being attacked. It was the money, la bronca. Money that was supposed to have gone to our investors in Mexico, and never made it. This'll be a fire what movie. What are you gonna do? No excuses, no rationalizations, no nothing. Nidia knew she had to find the solution, before the solution found her. The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Nidia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, babe. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, Love doesn't get you very far. What's his name? He's a doll, Theo. He doesn't have one. You have to be alive to have a name. See, si, I imagine that's true. Nidia, mi reina. Yes, mi reina. You know this expression. I love you more than life. Claro, of course. I love you, my queen. But not more than life. Mm. Real in the field. Got real in the field. All right, let's go handle the mission. Where's she at? We've caused so much damage to Nydia Flores' network that El Sueño decided he's better off without her. Extract Flores and her daughter sure before the Sicarios get to them. No problem. Where the fuck? What's up here? Mm. We about to fast travel over here real quick. You about to fly all the way over there? Pulpo ran away. He was washing that cartel cash through their mines and the energy drink company. The, um, Without him, he they won't be able to land their money. I need to find Shit. that gun. I had to had the um I had my launcher on.
We've caused so much damage to Nydia Flores' network that El Sueño decided he's better off without her. Extract Flores and her daughter before the Sicarios get to them. I'll fly. I'm on. Let's go. Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. Shut the damn alarm off. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Sending our intel on enemy positions. Shit. Sueño's people are hitting the hacienda now. Let's move. I put a call Ooh, to the rebels for a diversion. I copy, amigo. A third team will move into position. Come on, ribs. I'm about to get whacked. Ah. Uh... Grenade, move! Shit, man down. I'm asking the rebels to draw their attention. Damn, they deep. They deep. Shoot up there.
drone is airborne. They got alarms rigged up. Got an alarm. Got another tango. You got another one. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. The alarm is disabled. <laughs> Reinforcements won't be flying in anytime soon. We got the alarms. No, we don't. Hell. Watch your farms. We don't want to hit any civilians. Ask the rebels to recon the area for us. Let me get in position. Let me get into position. Roger that. Target marked. Got Lost it. visual Moving. on the target. I need a better position. Target acquired. Standing no. by. No target. Repeat. Copy. No target. Target marked. Lost the target. Target at the same time, no? Moving to position. Let me find a good position. Roger. Target acquired. Lost my target. Got the target. I don't There's have a no shot. Target. This is right there. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Mm. 
Shit. Sueño's people are hitting the hacienda now. Let's move. Got a call to the rebels for some reinforcements. I'm moving to position. Target marked. Ready? Fire. Roger that. I asked the rebels to recon. I got eyes on Nydia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Grenade, move, move, move. Grenade, move. Chopper, down, down. Rebels for a diversion. Hit the dirt, helicopter. Ooh, I'm running out of bullets over here. Get the fuck down. Damn, let me see. Where the hell are them bullets at? got an alarm. Got it. Moving. I need to get to a better position. Copy that. Moving. Roger. Target acquired. the rebels to recon the area for us.
Roger. Let me get in position. Let me get into position. Man down, over here! Man down. We got a man down. Man down. Boy. Just hold on to your shit. Man down. That nigga sniping shit. What? All my guys now? What the hell? Fire. Bring your ass over here. Let me see, get my guy up. Come your ass on. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Cuidenla! Valeria! Get on that helicopter! Mama! No! You wanna kill me, pendejo? I'm right here. None of you assholes is gonna lay a hand on my daughter. We don't wanna hurt you or your daughter. We want sueño. You help us, we can protect you. Jodete. Like I'm gonna trust you. You don't really have a choice. You think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up El Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. You better. You better give him up. A jefe is a very big hombre, like uh, a monster truck. I heard he's very tall. You don't like El Jefe. I, I don't like him either. Mija, stop talking. Close your mouth. You don't like El Jefe because he tried to hurt you and your mama? No. I don't like him because he has no hair. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having hair. Maybe he can't help it. Stop talking to her. This is all a mistake. You people are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabrones who turned out swing you against me in the first place. 
Our life was good before you came along. Your life was a permanent fast forward and you know it. We didn't make Sueño send people to kill you. We saved you and your daughter. Right. After you destroyed all of it. My life's work. Everything I had. Well, not everything. Talking. All right. Yes, we don't kill cash. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Karenia. Whatever happens, just remember that Mama loves you. Okay, Mama. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care mm. system and in five years, she won't even remember who you so are. Bad. You and I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me Sueño? I will give you eternal life. Let's go. We getting down to the nitty gritty. Checking out. 